Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle. If this is the first time that you're here, welcome. I have a question. I get a lot of questions, but I got a question for you. Before I do, before I ask the question, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for me. Come on guys, at least hit the like button. Help my algorithm. All right. My question is, you seen from the title of the video. So why do you want to become a signing agent? Right? I know a lot of people are, um, you know, looking for an additional stream of income. You know, they need to subsidize, you know, the income that they currently have. Or if they don't have a job, they're, they're looking to do something that they can make um, some pretty decent money with. I don't know. Is that is that your goal? What I have come to notice from all the emails and phone calls and consultations that I've had is that a lot of people are just becoming notaries so that they can become a signing agent and they just want to make that ten thousand you know dollars a month you know um you know they've watched the videos where you can make ten thousand dollars a month a hundred thousand dollars a year and i'm not saying that it's not possible that you make that type of money but i think a lot of people are getting into this business for the wrong reason i see it in the groups um you know in the comments the questions they ask um you'll get um, you know, new people coming right in and they want to make $150, $200 for a signing and they have absolutely no experience. <laughs> and then they go out and mess up documents and forget to get signatures and dates and don't notarize because they're new and they refuse to pay for training or a mentor. Um, because they just want to make that fast buck. And that's, that's really not, I would say, what you should focus on is not just making a big butt. Think about what your role is. You are a notary public. You are a state official. You are entrusted to notarize documents. You know, that should be your first honor, right? Just being able to have the authority to notarize, you know, documents like that that's that's a blessing that you definitely pay for right though <laughs> but let me tell you why i am a signing agent and my reason be becoming a signing agent was that i wanted an additional stream of income but yet i was already a notary but i love the fact of helping people like seriously my job is to get in give a brief explanation of the documents, get all my required signatures, dates, and initials stamped everywhere I need to stamp, double check my work, make sure my work is done, you know, have a good time with the signers. Like, I absolutely love what I do. What I'm noticing is that people will get in and they'll complain about the signers wanting to read the paperwork. I'm like, hello? This is one of the most expensive purchases that they're going to make in their life. And you're rushing them to read a document because you double booked yourself. That's your fault. Stop trying to be greedy. Respect the signers. Because if it wasn't for the people who were refinancing, buying or selling a home, modifying their loans, then you wouldn't have a job. You would not have a source of income. Do not rush these people when you go to their homes. I've had... Some people tell me that some signing agents come and they brag about how much money they make. And then when it's time to go over the documents, they just point and tell you to sign. They don't even tell you what you're signing. Do not be that signing agent. Do not be that signing agent. Because if I ever find out like who you are, like I will definitely... I'm not saying like I'm your mama, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm going to say, hey, some signers said that you didn't go over the documents with them, right? You know, just let you know that 
people are talking and people will talk. So just don't be that, don't be that signing agent that just goes and point and tell them to sign. Do not leave these documents with the signers and then come back later and get them because you double booked yourself. Like the audacity of you, you know. A lot of people want to be sign a signing agent for the wrong reason. And if it's just about the money, you're this is not the business for you. Seriously, because you're gonna have the ebbs and flows. You know, it's slow out here in some market areas, you know. Um, you don't have as many signings as you um, there was, say, in October um, because of the holidays. Everything is, you know, starting to pick back up, but it's still a little bit slow. But if you're going to be a signing agent, love people, love what you do, love helping people, want to help people, embrace them. You know, if they want to read their documents, you know, don't complain about it. Just sit there. Because you're getting paid to sit there. I don't see you on your regular job making, even if it's a $65 offer for a refinance, it's going to take you less than an hour to do it. I don't see you making $65 an hour on your regular job, you know, that you was working eight hours <laughs> for, you know, you probably made $85 a day as opposed to $85 for that hour that you are you have to sit there and, and go through those documents with them. Like, don't be that signing agent. But I hope that if you get into becoming a signing agent that you're doing it for the right reasons. Of course, we want to, you know, make additional um, money, right? We have families to feed, bills to pay. They're not going nowhere. I get that. But be kind, be patient with the signers, okay? Because I always treat them like, what if they're one of my family members, my cousin, my grandma, my mom, my dad. You know, you wanna treat your signers like that. What God has for you is for you. So if you double book yourself and you end up getting behind, you know, because of that, you know, because somebody wants to read their documents that they're entitled to read before they sign, you know, just know that you have to do better management, time management in the future. But anyway, this job is not for everybody. But if you decide to get into it, again, be kind, be patient, love what you do. You got to love people and um, be professional and double check your work. All right. Peace.